Hello and welcome back to the channel everybody. So in this video it's going to be split into two. Um, the first part is going to be aimed at travelling up to Flamingo Land which is going to be our first day and then in the second video it's going to be us then transitioning over to uh, Blackpool uh, and then we're staying at a Haven site uh, only about sort of 10 minutes away from the Pleasure Beach and then that will be a review of that site. Um, just to give you an overview and again this trip's come about well purely because of our son wanting to do some of the attractions on both sides so instead of sort of doing separately going up and back down we thought we'd do this sort of circuit over the sort of next eight to nine days so um, yeah hopefully you, you, you like the overview of the two sites and uh, yeah if you've got any comments then uh, yeah drop them below but uh, yeah we'll get cracking and I uh, hope, you, hope you enjoy the content. So this is the main approach going into the park. Um, it's quite straightforward, there's no tight turns. So um, yeah, you shouldn't have any issues uh, towing the caravan into this bit. So this is the entrance coming up on the right hand side. And during our stay here, it, it never seemed to be too busy, so um, yeah, I'm not expecting you to have queues here, but um, always take the left lane. Obviously, you haven't got the options for the other two, and they're cornered off, but if you do get the options, then yeah, always stick to the left here. There was no one in this check in, um, it's just a case of going straight through and then just bearing round to the left. Day visitors then carry on straight down into the normal car park. Uh, and what what happens down here is uh, as you go around this corner you, you'll be able to see there that there's an actual um, car park and a, a check-in area so the main car park where you check in is the one just down here by this wooden hut on the right where that white car is um, and you can pull in there go in check in and then you get your wristbands once you've got your wristbands that gives you access to the park and you'll need those to get through the check-in um, uh, with a security guard just down here uh, and, and your, your passes scans get you into the actual park swimming pool entertainment anything to do with the park whatsoever and, if, and as and when you come uh, backwards and forwards um, on and off site, you'll need it just to check back in. Thank you. Scan everyone, please. Thank I'm sitting in a cool car park, so I've got my mobile. Thank you, spot on. Cheers, Cheers mate. mate. So once you've done your, your security check, scanning through then again yeah it's just about following this road all the way down through um but yeah it is quite cool where you've got the actual park and the rides going round right next to you it also gives you an idea of the actual size of the park um, in terms of the the attractions and the, the theme park And this is only one side. Uh, this is where all your sort of main rides are, and then the other side is sort of more of your junior rides. Um, and then at the top end, where you sort of came into the park, is where the zoo is. So now you're coming to where sort of the entertainment space is. So this part here on the right is actually sort of a, an external sort of. Um, uh, event where you can sort of um, have seating and, and shows where they just have outdoor shows going on um, and then here on the right is your sort of main indoor complex but again you get to it from the other side
you would just go around to the right there and then right again and that's where your entertainment sort of starts or the um, access to the park there on the right hand side or in front of you now is there's the reception if you have any issues just past that on the right is your uh, shop again you can get a um, fresh bakery in there as well down here just on the right is your uh, laundry option if you need to do any um, but this is your main sort of um, road that you would be sort of walking from the actual touring area to the actual site so uh, to the main attraction so again it's it literally is a sort of three or four minute walk uh, to get to the main park Now in terms of pictures they're quite relaxed once you've actually checked in it is literally just a case of going round and just finding a pitch that that takes your fancy really um, there is no sort of assigned pictures it's just literally sort of yeah go round and um, yeah if you like the look of one then you can just pitch up Obviously with the pictures you just need to double check and, and just sort of take one that you've actually been allotted in terms of if, it's, if, if it has electric or non-electric. But other than that, yeah, you can just um, rock up to anyone. And the leisure complex in terms of the swimming pool and the gym is the building in front of you now and that is actually on the touring site um, so yeah if you fancy a swim it's just a case of just walking across to it but um, yeah you will need to get an allotted time with that but um, yeah no really nice pool So just a quick time lapse of our awning going up. So yeah, as I said earlier, this is uh, the main uh, swimming complex and gym. It has got like um, a little chill out area so you can get ice creams and a drink. Um, the pool itself has got a couple of flumes, um, a, a child area for swimming, sort of um, adult sort of swimming. Um, and also it's got like um, uh, a jet area, um, swim spa jet, so again it's in a small part of the, the pool but again it allows you to do sort of swimming against the, the current of those jets. So now we move on to some of the main rides actually within the park. So um, yeah, I thought I'd just show you a few of the, the main rides just to give you a flavour of uh, what to expect. Um, like I say, it goes on sort of more of the adult rides then onto some of the babier rides or so I say smaller rides and then the, the actual zoo itself but so yeah this will give you a flavour of what to expect. The reason the kids were lucky enough to be able to actually get on the, the front carriage for this so uh, yeah this is Jack with his hands up and, and the family right at the front so uh, yeah it's probably the easy you can hear screaming <laughs> this is probably one of the uh, longest queues that we saw on the park for this ride um, probably about 45 minutes but again it really depends on when you hit it if you get there obviously first thing obviously you're going to jump the queue um, and uh, if you're staying on site you get an hour uh, early access um, 
than the park actually opening because it, it doesn't actually open till 11 and you can get access from about actually about half past nine so normally quite a bit earlier than uh, the rest of the paying customers coming in. Funny side of one of his rides for once. This is a slightly different ride where you're sort of uh, vertical getting in. Um, but yeah, when you get into this ride, you're almost sort of walking up a step ladder before it starts tilting you into that position. But um, yeah. Quite a, quite a funny ride, spinning you around. Again, not one of uh, Louise's uh, most enjoyable, and uh, I'm sure you'll hear her screaming very shortly. Kids aren't actually on this ride, but I thought I'd just show you um, some of the different water ones. And if you certainly, if it's a nice warm day and you're looking to cool down, yeah, this might be an option because you absolutely get drenched on this. And the same with the next ride. But um, yeah, no, it did look a lot of fun, but um, <laughs> yeah, a little bit soggy. This is one of the rides where they thought they wouldn't get too wet and they didn't actually really look at it but there's a number of points where just by going on the ride you go under like a number of different showers um, and yeah each person gets its own sort of water gun but yeah all the way around the actual track is other people squirting water and Jack taking great delight in sort of yeah running from point to point and just soaking the girls but um, yeah. yeah. It seemed a lot of fun, but yeah, again, you absolutely got soaked on that. So yeah, just make sure it's a nice warm day if you're going to opt for this ride. Like 
I told her, she, I, so I said, oh, she's going sideways now. I, I said she should have sat on the outside. <laughs> it's going sideways. <laughs> oh. they, they, go, they, they always go backwards. <laughs> Put it this way, I don't think she's going to go on it again. <laughs> They're both holding on. So one of uh, Charlie's favourite rides were, were these cars and um, yeah they're very similar to what was at Euro Disney uh, and again yeah you sort of got quite a large track just to have to go around but yeah she found it great fun just sort of racing her brother and sisters at times so uh, yeah one of the runs she, she would run for each morning but um, yeah you can see some of the rides in the, in the background and other like I say you've got the train, you've got a water park there on your right hand side. But um, yeah, certainly a number of bigger rides there to uh, occupy sort of all ages. Um, and then you've got the um, tower there on the left hand side that shoots you up. And again that goes off um, in terms of testing every morning. So it's a good wake up call about 9 o'clock every morning. So you know once they're testing that about half an hour afterwards the park's good to go. So uh, yeah, listen out for that, and then uh, you know, <laughs> you know, if you're sleeping in, you can get up.
very top of the park and again there's a number of sort of children's playgrounds different animals sort of spread across uh, this part um, but um, yeah it's a good good starting point if you've come to the very top and then yeah like I say there's a number of different animals now you can go sort of explore and then slowly work your way back down or again there's a number of different ways you can come back down You'll be surprised how many animals actually are um, behind low fences and actually you can get up close to, um, dotted around this area. But um, yeah, there's certainly a number of peacocks all showing off and um, walking around. So um, yeah, no, it's, it is really good to see. Just keep an eye out for them because um, yeah, they do appear from nowhere. So this is one of the shows that they do. They do this three times a day in the afternoon. You'll need to check the times. Um, but yeah, it lasts about 20 minutes, but yeah, well worth a watch. Really, really good and yeah, very clever what they can actually teach these animals. So this is another monorail that they have on site. It only does a circuit, um, but it just takes you around the sort of uh, monkey enclosure. Um, but um, yeah, Charlie thought they were very amusing with their red bottoms, but um, yeah, this was sort of feeding time. So yeah, they all sort of emerged on the little bridge. The giraffes are really great, Look, uh, being able to see them up close, 
and just over to the right hand side there is a sort of viewing um, area that you can go and walk up and get sort of head height with them but obviously the issue there is trying to get them to come over which is, is hard, hard to do so um, yeah it's unlikely they're going to sort of wander over but um, yeah certainly a few of them are there um, to view Overall, for the uh, costings in terms of what you get included in terms of your stay at Flamingo Land, I can't fault it. I, I think it's really good value for money. What's actually on site uh, and what's included is, is really good. Uh, the swimming pool is nice and modern. It's got lots within that space. Um, the actual uh, park itself with all the different attractions, whether that's the, th the rides or the zoo, again, there's so much to do there. It, you do need a good sort of at least three or four days to explore it properly. And that's not because of the queues, because to be fair, there wasn't many really queues when we were there. It's just, there's just the vast amount of things to do. So um, yeah, as a park goes, it's certainly one I would definitely recommend going to. I, I had nothing to fault it really. Uh, yeah, very laid back um, and really ticked all the boxes. The kids loved it. So uh, yeah, no, if you're considering it, yeah, I, I would get on a book it and uh, yeah, head that way. So hopefully you've enjoyed uh, part one of this series. Um, like I say, it's going to be a two-parter. The next one's going to be sort of aimed at Blackpool when we sort of travel across the country to the, the second venue. Um, but certainly this is giving you a good idea, an overview of uh, Flamingo Land and what to expect there. As always, if you've liked the content, if you can consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing, that would be great, because as always, it does really help to promote and grow the channel. But um, yeah, we'll leave it there for this week, and I will see you soon. Cheers all.